So your mix is outside uh, five guys at the moment and the Deliveroo riders campaign to get paid for waiting time is still ongoing. So it's interesting to uh, catch up with uh, Jack. Jack, um, tell us where you're from. Uh, I'm from York, uh, born and raised here. Yep. Um, and, and who do you represent? It's the Independent Workers of Great Britain. Isn't it? it is indeed. Uh, the Couriers and Logistics Branch of the Independent Workers of uh, Great Britain Union. Um, I'm the Recruitment Officer for the National Branch and I'm also the Community Initiatives Organiser for the York Branch. So this is partly... Okay, and just to sum it up briefly, what's the issue that you guys are having? Okay, so the issue that we're currently having at the moment is that we get paid by the order and not by the hour. So if we have to come to five guys and wait between 15 and 20 minutes, which is the average waiting time, it means that we're essentially missing out on an entire order per hour. Now, if you multiply that a couple of times throughout the night, so say if I came here three times in a night, there's a good chance that I lose between 45 minutes to an hour of my time that I could be out on the road working. And so we're holding five guys to ransom to some extent because they're a large exclusive partner with Deliveroo in order to send a message to them that if we are going to be forced to wait 15, 20 minutes for an order, that we at least deserve to be paid for it. Right, and you've been here for a few weeks now uh, it's every Thursday that you're uh, manning the door and uh, what kind of reaction have you had? Um, we've had a really positive reaction uh, not just from other couriers but actually the public as well it offers us um, gives us a chance to speak to them you know basically let them know what's going on because a lot of them didn't realize that this was an issue that we were having um, in five guys in terms of like the staff and the management they're all very happy I mean they get to have a sort of half of their workload is taken away on a Thursday so they're not too bothered about that and uh, um, the regional manager has actually given out the order to turn off the tablet so even if somebody wanted to order a five guys they physically wouldn't be able to so that's fantastic for us because it means that it supports our boycott okay so briefly then where does this uh, protest head then from here okay so our last day will be the 31st of October and we'll be having like a big Halloween sort of thing we'll have some music playing um, and looking to the future we'll be extending this nationally so that delivery won't be able to ignore our message to them because this is the only way that we're actually able to communicate 